Daisy the Rail Car. This is a story about Daisy the Diesel Rail Car. She worked at Sir Topham Head Station while Thomas was being repaired. She was bossy and thought she always knew best, but she soon learned not to be so bullish. One day, when Thomas was being repaired, the fat controller brought Daisy to work at the station. Look at me, she said to the passengers. I'm highly sprung and right up to date. After traveling with me, you won't want to ride in Thomas's bumpy carriages again. The passengers climbed aboard and waited for Daisy to set off. Every morning, milk was collected from the farms and put on a wagon at the station. The wagon was coupled to Thomas's first train of the day, so he would take it to the dairy. That day, the milk wagon was waiting for Daisy. I won't take that, she said in horror. Nonsense, said her driver. Come on now, it won't take long. But Daisy refused to move. Daisy lied so she wouldn't have to take the wagon. My fittest says I'm highly sprung and, and pulling is bad for my swerves, she said. I can understand it, said a workman. Whatever made the fat controller send such a feeble... Feeble? spluttered Daisy crossly. Stop arguing, cried the passengers. We're already late. Nothing Daisy's driver or guard said would change her mind. So workmen moved the milk wagon and Daisy went smugly away. I made up a clever story, she chuckled to herself. Now I can do the jobs I want to do and no more. Good grief. When Toby came to the station, he was surprised to see the milk wagon there. Daisy's left the milk, Percy said crossly. Now I'll have to make a special journey with it and I'm already late for the quarry. Why don't I take the milk to the dairy and you fetch my quarry cars, Toby said. That way we can both save time. It was agreed and both engines set off. A little later, Toby met Daisy at a junction. She laughed at his side plates and cow catchers. Toby explained that he had them to stop animals being hurt if they got on the tracks in front of him. You're just scared, Daisy said rudely. If I see an animal on the track, I'll toot and it will move. I'm not scared, Toby replied calmly, and they won't just move if you toot. They will for me, said Daisy proudly. When Daisy reached the next station, a policeman waved for her to stop. Champion, the bull is on the track, he said. Please move him along to the farmer. I'll show Toby how to manage animals, Daisy said to her driver. But she was about to be surprised. Uh-oh. Move on, tooted Daisy when she saw the bull, but Champion didn't move. After a while, he became curious and slowly walked towards Daisy. Oh, said Daisy nervously, look at his big horns. If I bump into them, he might hurt uh, himself. She quickly backed away and left. Meanwhile, Percy had picked up Toby's trucks. He was still grumpy about Daisy, so he was rude to the trucks. The trucks decided to teach him a lesson. When he pulled them over a big hill, they shoved him forward, sending him racing out of control. Help! Percy cried as he flew through a level crossing and crashed into some stone trucks in the yard. Toby was leaving the station when Daisy crept back. One of her passengers told him what had happened. Now you know why my side plates and cow catchers are so useful, Toby chuckled. Just then a workman told them about Percy's crash. If you help Percy, Toby said to Daisy, I'll take your passengers and move the bull. Daisy agreed and both engines set off. 
Daisy worked hard all afternoon. She moved all the stone trucks away from the track so the breakdown train could rescue Percy. The fat controller came to speak to Daisy. I have heard that you left the milk wagon, he said crossly. I won't have lazy engines working on my railway. However, you have done a good job here, so if you promise to work hard and listen to the other engines, you can stay on. Thank you, sir, said Daisy humbly. Thomas came back to work the next day. Daisy stayed on to help while Percy was being repaired. The fat controller was very pleased because she had worked hard and listened to the other engines. Daisy became good friends with the engines and sometimes she even delivered the milk wagon for Thomas. The End